At least 15 people are wounded as an explosives-laden car goes off near a mosque in the Syrian city of Homs. The blast took place as worshippers were leaving the mosque. Meanwhile, Syrian military sources have denied reports that foreign-backed insurgents have taken control of Damascus International Airport. State media say some Arab news channels are trying to raise the spirit of terrorists by spreading false news. The battle over the airport has been raging for more than a week. The Syrian military says it has responded to insurgent attacks and killed more than 3,000 of them. In another development, a mortar shell fired by militants at a building in the Mezat district of Damascus. Several civilians were injured in a previous insurgent attack in the neighborhood. Tassan al Halabi is a political commentator and he joins us from Damascus. Tassan al Halabi, we are looking at what appears to be a pretext uh, on Assyria. Uh, the chemical weapons is now being used and uh, uh, repeated by the U.S. President Barack Obama, even uh, Ban Ki moon and some other government officials. Uh, in the meantime, the video surfaced uh, uh, on the internet of which it showed uh, these uh, so called insurgents using poisonous gas. Uh, are, what are we to make of uh, the maneuvering by these countries, such as the U.S.? Is this a pretext for them getting involved in Syria? First of all, uh, let me uh, quote the Israeli uh, certain officials when they said, uh, all, the, uh, all this uh, campaign against Syria towards accusing uh, Syria that have uh, certain chemical weapons or uh, other mass destruction weapons that can be used or uh, might, uh, use, uh, might be used uh, in certain uh, uh, clashes here inside uh, Syria. It was a kind of uh, a, a, an, a, an attempt to make deterrence to Syria, that, uh, to frighten Syria, uh, as long as they are witnessing that those terrorist uh, military groups are getting more and more defeats in certain areas, and all these allegations about the airport or the road to airport, they are exaggerating in their, uh, in their uh, news and in their uh, approach. Anyhow, the aim of USA towards accusing Syria of uh, uh, of having chemical weapons, it was the, it is now the second time that would be used against Syria, while Syria didn't uh, say in any time, never said that it has uh, chemical weapons and it can uh, use such chemical weapons in in in, in any uh, Syrian territories against the. The, the terrorists. They would like to show Syria that it is vulnerable, that it is weak now. No, Syria uh, concerning the airport and the road to airport, there are certain clashes uh, uh, on, the, uh, on, on the first section of the road to the airport because there are farms and, ext and extensive uh, trees there. The terrorists trying to use them to make uh, certain assaults of mortar on the on the road to the airport. So the Syrian authorities and the Syrian army tried just to make safe the people and ask the people to go to the airport from other roads, from other uh, marginal or narrow roads that the, the airport is still working and people are traveling from the airport, but using other roads to the airport, not the main one, the autostrad one. Okay, thank you very much, Tassan Ahala. We appreciate that political commentator there from Damascus.